Okay, here we are. We're just about to start week two. So I know that a number of you are still working on the assignments from week one. It's okay. Try to finish those as soon as you can, and then you can jump into the assignments for week two. So let's go ahead and take a look at Canvas. So when you come to our home page, you're going to see that there is a picture on the bottom and you can click that and that's going to take you into the modules or you can just use this modules left side menu link up here and that will take you into the modules. Make sure that you've done everything for week one before we get started on week two. And then let's go right into the week two overview. And this is going to just let you know kind of a snapshot of everything that we're going to be doing today, um, this week. You can see how the due dates, how everything's laid out. And then to get to the assignments, you are going to use the next button and go on through them. The parts of speech page just has the information. There's nothing to turn in here. But what I have for you is down at the bottom, there is a PowerPoint. And for some reason, it's not opening up for me. Um, I hope it does for you. But if not, you can just click it and you can open that up. That is a PowerPoint presentation that just has the slides. And then what I have done is made several videos. And I did this a couple of semesters ago. So you are going to hopefully have a look at that PowerPoint as you watch each video. And it starts with nouns and pronouns and then verbs and then goes on from there. And I'm basically just talking through the slides of the PowerPoint. So you will want to take notes on this as you are watching the videos and looking at the PowerPoint. And then I have a practice page for you. And what it is is a um, Word document here that has uh, just an article from several years ago from the Fresno Bee. You can open that up. And there are some underlined words there. And I'm asking you to just look at and try to identify which part of speech each underlined word or phrase is. So I've got that, and then I've also got the answers, the answer key here. And then I also have a video that just takes you through sort of the, the analysis kind of thinking that I want you to do with this for just the first couple of sentences. This is something that we are going to be going over when we meet on Zoom. So if this is really, really confusing for you and you're just having a super hard time, don't stress out too much. Try to either come to my Zoom meeting on Tuesday and or Thursday or watch the recordings later because this is something that I am going to give you more details on and go over in the meeting. Then we get to the uh, Zoom meeting reminder. And so I have this reminder here so it'll pop up on your calendar and then you are going to do the parts of speech quiz and you can jump back to the page that has the information on parts of speech, including my videos and PowerPoint. You do have three chances to take the quiz and I really, really want everyone to get the maximum points. So if you take it once or twice and you don't have 14, please take it again until you get 14 out of 14. Next thing is just the reminder for the Thursday Zoom meeting. We're going to try a different time this week, 630, a little bit later. So I'm still getting the responses back from you on what is the best time to meet on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But so far, I've seen a few people saying later in the evening. So we're going to try for 630 for next week and see if a few more of you can attend. And then I've got a survey that is set up like a quiz, but it's a little different than the um, parts of speech quiz or even the syllabus quiz that you did. So this quiz is not going to automatically be graded. I will have to go in and give you points for doing it. But for this, it's a survey. There's no right or wrong answer. I just really want you to think about the questions carefully and really try to 
give me your best answer. What the questions are based on is this article that is actually a chapter from a textbook that I am writing. And so you can go ahead and read that. If you want to download it, just click on the title here and that's going to give you the document or you can just read it straight from here and then take the survey. And then we've got a discussion. Now, I do want to really quickly clarify because a couple of you have been asking, you know, what's going on for 205? Where is where are your assignments? So for this English 1A class plus 205, most of your 205 assignments will be discussions, discussion boards that you'll have. And anytime we have a 205 assignment, um, I made this little logo here. I'm going to put that on there so you can see which assignments are for your 205 grade and which ones are for your English 1A grade. So you'll usually have one assignment, maybe two per week for 205. And then in addition to that, our Zoom meetings also count for 205, but you know that those are optional. You don't get points for attending, but I do expect you to, if you cannot attend, to watch um, at least one of the weekly Zoom meetings from the recordings. So here for this discussion, a couple of things. Um, for one, it is a group discussion. So I've put you in groups of four to six students, and this is going to be the same group that you'll be working with throughout the time that we're working on essay one. So for basically for the next four weeks, you'll be working with these people. And then when we go to essay two, we're going to make some new groups. So you'll get a chance to work with other of your classmates. I just really like doing discussions in groups, smaller groups, rather than the whole class. It just works out a lot better and you can get to know each other and really have a better conversation than you can if you're dealing with the whole group. Okay, so the other thing about this discussion is that there are two due dates for it. So I do have a due date of Thursday and that is where you're going to write your original post and these are the questions that you're going to be respond to for that. You can also see that in Canvas I've set this discussion to be due on the 20th and that way it will come up on your to-do list and your calendar that way. But there is a, another due date that is on Sunday, and those are the replies. Now, we have to do these on two different days because many times students are completing their original posts on the day that it's due. And so if, you know, you're a person who needs the weekend or you need um, to complete your work earlier in the day, then that is just not possible to do that. So you are going to need to go back to this discussion two times, okay? so. Um, one to complete by Thursday and then by Sunday just going back and making sure that you've replied to everyone who has posted. Okay and then we are going to get started on a reading log. So this is a reading log that I use for all my classes. It may seem like a lot of work but we're going to use this article for our essay and so it's going to end up saving you time in the end because we are going to be rereading this article several times and if you've done a great job on the reading log then the readings that you have to do later are much much quicker. So I do have a short video that takes you through my reading up through the first paragraph. That's the part that I did and then what I am asking you to do is the first page, the first page only. Next week, I will have you do the entire article. So if you are feeling like you're on a roll and you're, um, you know, just can't stop, go for it. Do as much as you can or go ahead and do the entire article. You can always make changes later when I ask you to turn it in. But just remember for this assignment, we're just kind of getting started. And so I am going to have you do just the first page, turn in just the first page, and then I will give you feedback on that before we do the entire article. And then I just put this little reminder in here to go back to the discussion board to complete your replies. 
and then we get to the summary of everything that you've done. Just go through, you know, in your mind, did you do each one? You can jump back to them to double check, but this should be kind of a good way to just wrap up the week. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions about anything. Um, please be careful next week. It's going to be like 108, 109, just ridiculous temperatures. So drink a lot of water, stay out of the sun. Oh my gosh, you're going to get so just burn up if you go out there. Please be careful and let me know if you get stuck in any way. If anything looks weird, anything's not working on our class, send me an email, send me a text. Oh, make sure that you put my phone number in your phone. Okay. So just in case canvas goes down or that your internet goes down or something like that, you have a way to contact me. Okay. Um, let me know if you have any trouble and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.